Hi, in this tutorial I'll introduce you to navigation bars. I'm working with a yoga and fitness centre site that I've developed from one of the Web Plus professional templates. At the top of the page you'll see that I already have a basic navigation bar which has been added to a master page that's assigned to each of the site pages. As well as making the navigation bar visible on multiple pages of the site, adding it to a master page also means that any changes made to the navigation bar are immediately reflected throughout the site. Let's have a look at the child pages of the facilities page. Notice that these have a blank area to the left which is filled with a gradient. During the development of the site, I also created a new master page, master page C. This is assigned, in addition to master page A, to all of the child pages so that I can add a new style of navigation bar. A navigation bar can be added in several ways. I'm going to use the quick build tab by simply dragging the navigation bar icon to my page. On release, the navigation bar settings dialog opens and all of the available types of navigation bars are displayed. If I click on a category, I get a preview of the available navigation bars in that category. If I click on a navigation bar heading, I see a preview of my current colour scheme. On the navigation tab, the top level option is selected. This means that my navigation bar will only display the top level pages of my site. My primary navigation bar already does this. The pages that will contain this new navigation bar are all child pages of the facilities page. This means that I need to select same level. I can customise my navigation bar further in the appearance and pop-up menus tab. And it's even possible to completely redesign the buttons. Unfortunately, I don't have time to go into this in detail, but you'll find all the information you need in Web Plus Help. To preview the new bar on the site's current background colour, I can change the preview background colour. Once happy, I click OK to accept the settings. Now that the navigation bar is added to the page, you'll see that it has a green exclamation mark. This means that the bounding box isn't big enough to fit the entire bar in it. This can be fixed by resizing the bounding box. Now that the bar is in place, I'll go back to the child pages to see how it looks. As you can see, I've also applied this master page to the facilities page. Because the navigation bar is set to display same level, it's now displaying the wrong pages. Instead of displaying the child pages, it's actually displaying the top level pages, as the facilities page is itself a top level page. So, how do I change this without affecting the other pages? The answer is to choose Promote from Master Page. This creates a copy of the navigation bar so that the settings can be changed for this one instance only. With the navigation bar selected, on the context toolbar I click Edit Navigation Bar and choose Child Level as the navigation type. If I now preview the site, I can see that the navigation bar now works exactly as expected. Well, that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget that Web Plus provides many different types of navigation bars, including sitemaps. For more information on navigation bars, see the online written tutorial, or you can find extra information in the Web Plus Help. Thanks for watching.